Hello, this is Ben, and today we're going to take a look at tracing circuit board, just real basics. Um, so this is a circuit board that came out of like some sort of old satellite receiver thing. I don't know, um, but what is? Uh, so what you need is something like this. It's called a multimeter, and it has a setting on it. If you can see that one right there. that one it's got like a like a diode symbol and below it looks like a sound speaker coming out and when that's that does a lot of things but one of the things it does and one of the really really important functions of the tool for doing anything electronics or even an electrician work you know it'll tell you when you have continuity between the pins so in other words it'll tell me if an electrical signal is able to get from pin to pin so I can know for example this metal body of this thing I've got continuity I've got a, I've got a continuous circuit they're connected whereas if I touch maybe here okay no All right, I bet if I touch right here this is probably ground yep yep, yep. So this big metal thing is connected to probably a common ground with all the major screw down points that were, and they screwed down to the body of the whole metal thing. Um, see, it was the body of the metal thing and they were screwed down to like points like this. Points like that are screwed down. So there's like a common sort of ground circuit, I guess. Or connection that it goes to the body and then that that may actually connect on out through the plug so that the things grounded and so then that's basically what you can do you can sit down and say okay this part right here whatever you're looking at where does it go they go right there 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 somewhere around there and you can look at it and follow the circuitry where it goes but you can see where this little component soldered in. You know, let's try this little transistor right here. You may get some readings on your multimeter that say something else. And then of course things flip over to the other side too. There may be other circuitry, a different layer of circuitry on one side, but they'll like go, it'll go through the board and then go to something else. And you can tell, like, when you get to, like, say, a resistor or a capacitor, you can say, okay, I can see where the circuit came to this resistor, goes through it, and then keeps going. And so you can, like, you know, trace things and figure out where they go. So that's the gist of it. Like this right here, where does it go? I mean, it takes a minute. Oh, well, it goes right there. It goes over to that thing, which is like a little resistor. All right, and you might see that things, you know, you just begin to analyze, well, this one splits off and goes to three resistors, and it might shoot over to ground over here, but then it goes through the resistors over to whatever, and, you know, you begin to analyze, and the more you look at it, the more you might figure out kind of what's going on um, with whatever it is you're trying to do, but that's the gist of it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was useful to you. Um, check out my other videos. Uh, check out my invention, the videos down there, Parallel Saw Patent Pending. Check out my blog, RemoveConfusion.com. I have a lot of Christian apologetics videos. And Jesus loves you. Have a nice day.